Hi guys, it's Colette, and today we're going to be working on this Thanksgiving water marble. If you like nail art, be sure you're subscribed to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures. And if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. Starting out with clean, dry nails, I'm going to apply my base coat. Today I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel-off base. And you can use whichever is your personal favorite. The colors that I'm going to be using today are all from Zoya. This red is Sherry. This shimmery brown is Jinx. And this kind of duochromy copper is Nadia. And I'll be using Nadia as my base color. Once I've got a coat of this applied, I'll be protecting around my nails using Simply Peel. As usual, I'm working in a 5 ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. And I'm just going to go ahead and build my bullseye drop by drop to keep the design consistent, at least uh, similar, if not the same, between all my nails. You want to make sure to use the same number of drops for each bullseye that you build. And in this case, I'm going for a total of 10. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few more drops here before I get to actually drawing my design. And once you have all the drops in there, you may want to give your cup just a slight tap. That can help the polishes to finish spreading out. Then I'm going to go ahead and anchor the outer ring to the sides of the cup. That should hopefully keep it from moving around. And then I'm going to start drawing my design. I decided to go with just a basic flower design. Just kind of an easy go-to if I don't have anything else particularly in mind. Just going to draw in from side to side and then go in between those and probably go in between those again. Once you're done with your design, make sure there are no bubbles anywhere that you can see then you're going to want to decide which nails you're dipping sometimes depending on the design I'll get I'll change my mind of which nails that I want to dip like if one half of this had been particularly weird I might have decided to just dip my thumb by itself but in this case I'm going to go ahead and dip my middle finger and my index together just going to line it up so I can get the area that I want and go ahead and dip in. With my orange stick, I'm going to clean up that excess polish. You don't want any of that left on the surface or it will mess up your design. And then you can probably see a bubble just floated off my nail and I have one more there on my index finger. And as I slowly pull out, that should pop. And there's the water marble. So, as the latex has stuck my fingers together, I'm going to carefully cut them apart before I remove it, because I have learned my lesson on that score in the past. I'm not going to say I might not forget it again in the future and try to do it all at once, but trying to be good today. I'm going to go ahead and get a grip and then go, well, <laughs> not as good of a grip as I thought. But that actually makes it easier to peel off because now I can just go right around the edge like that. And we'll see if the latex holds together on my index. I'll show you 
the technique I was attempting to show you, which is to... Nope, not that one either. Basically, if the latex doesn't come apart like that, you just want to kind of carefully but quickly pull over the top. You don't want it to touch the water marble design because that is still wet. And once I finish with my other nails, I'll go in and clean up around the edges with a brush dipped in acetone. This cup is a perfect example of what I was saying. I didn't get a perfectly even spread and I didn't get a very even design either. So I want to go for what I'm considering the good part of the design, this half over here. And I want to put that on my thumb. So I'm going to turn the cup a little bit, line up my thumb in the good area go ahead and dip in. Clean off the surface once again and again another bubble. Oh, I'm not sure if the camera caught that but that is why you want to pull out slowly. If it doesn't burst under the water it usually bursts when it breaks the surface Go ahead and slowly pull my thumb out, and there's the water marble. Once you've finished cleanup, go ahead and push any bubbles that you see flat before finishing with the top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. So here's the finished manicure, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out feel like I was a little bit rusty because it's been a while since I did a water marble, but all things considered, it went pretty smoothly. There's not going to be a peel in this video because I do want to get this video up before Thursday, but after the holiday, I really seriously this time am going to get caught up on my Instagram 
So stay tuned over there if you're interested in that. I hope you guys all have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. And as always, thanks for watching.